game and the long field side of the game. So uh, another good drill here for Old Blue. Nothing but sprints. They are sprinting midway through practice, uh, getting themselves completely tired out for the second half of practice for once again to be mentally prepared. Don't be fooled by me finishing towards uh, the top here. These boys have been working out much harder than I did their whole practice. I'm just showing off here. Minute 45 while we set up the next drill. Good fucking Deep shit, breath. guys. Two hands, he's just gonna make my hard foot Connor to get past. No offload. He's just going through. Sam makes a chop tackle here. Pulls him straight in over the top. Okay, Sam looking to get to post, uh, to box. Okay, and then we've got Derek trying to find their pivot. So our post, inside, inside. Okay, so we'd have, there'd be one more attacker. You can either split or go two each side, in which case Ulysses, you come across. I want this pass to be seven star so that we really test our setup from the breakdown. So our post gets to inside, inside their pivot. Sam made the tackle rolls, watching the pick and go either side. And Ulysses has a decision to make okay, about where we need to go. Five seconds, five second change around time, and then the other person just repeats the exercise. So the first one is our squats. Okay, so we're from here working our squats. Okay, 25 seconds, get as many reps as you can in. Whistle goes, you have five seconds. I jump down into push up position. Osh gets into that uh, squat. Okay, yeah. next one, same thing. He's in that plank push up position. This time, I do a push up on him and then I spin around, try and keep my weight on. Spin. Come on, Osh. <laughs> okay, 25 seconds. Next person goes. Okay, we just switch over. Lovely. Round three. Go into elbows for this <coughs> one. So plank position here. Okay, weight. The stronger he is, the lower down we can go. Okay, and then we're just into our bunny hops here. Okay, 25 Sheesh. seconds. All right, work the core there. Alright, in the final drill of the night for Old Blue, they broke up into some teams and basically played seven on seven with a few stipulations. So the first thing that they did was if you were tackled or touched outside of those numbers like you would see on a football field, then it's okay. You ruck over and you continue to play on. But if you are touched inside the numbers, anywhere in the middle of the field, then it is an instant turnover and the other team gets the ball. I really appreciate this drill because as you know in sevens, if you could work the ball to the outside, that is where you're going to have most success 
in a match. Now, going into the next phase of this drill, they took that away and just played regular rugby, regular sevens. But as soon as a team scored, Coach Dom Waring and uh, the other staff that were there threw the ball out there very quickly so that game play continued to go right away. There was no extra kick. As you can see here, Luke Hem scoring. But as soon as he's done scoring, they get the ball right back out to the other team. Kyle Granby's got it now. The boys are getting very fatigued after a long practice, and he's able to break the line himself. Right after Kyle scores, right instantly, the ball is brought back to the other team. Matt's got the ball now. Gives it to Derek Lipscomb on a nice flip pass, and he's breaking off from a try. So the, the game continuously goes and goes and goes until they get tired out the whole entire way. It's a great way to finish out a practice, to give everything that they possibly have. And as they are now mentally drained trying to play rugby sevens at the last ten minutes of their practice is where... The wins are really going to come from in tough matches. Come back Wednesday, fresh, upbeat, ready to do work, smile on our face, knowing that if we play to our system, we stay cool, no one can lose. <laughs> Derek, uh, what did you think about the practice today? I mean, it's probably the most, it's the most intense practice we had this season, um, but it's good just because like we we've just got to challenge ourselves here um, while we're like while we got the time off. Since we don't have anything this weekend. There's no reason why we can't blow it out. It's just uh, we're working harder to make up for where we slacked off last week. So. Um, you now just putting in a lot of work these past two days and rest for a bit and putting in even more work next week. Come back, hopefully get that O W. Yeah. What's the difference between an old blue practice and an AIC practice? Uh, are they about the same, or are you working harder here, or what? Yeah, working harder here. <laughs> There's a lot of good players. <laughs> how does it feel? How does it feel for you, Derek, that Kyle's no longer playing for Nyack and he's over here with you guys? The sun has come home. <laughs> He started with us years ago when I first started with Old yeah. Blue. Yeah. Then he left. Yeah. He went out to soil his royal oats. Yeah. And now he is back he with the homeland. Still with the rest of us. No, no, you must got. give up now. Nice like this. <laughs> I, I got it. No, it's great. It's great though. We, we, are, we can literally be inseparable at this point and nobody can yell at us. So. Yeah, we won't get in trouble That's, for my team anymore. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, not it's, pr it's pretty bad when uh, we're goofing off before games and our coaches are yelling at us to focus. We're focused, we just like... <laughs> You're playing against each other. Long Island, Old Blue, Nyack, now all Old Blue. It's and I was lief with the club Old Blue. And I will not hello say for my family. Like communication is the thing you struggle with on the field? Yeah, I can't even my friend abroad. It's very serious. It's definitely becoming a professional thing now over here, so trying to get over here, play with the big boys, you know, it's a bit of fun so far. Coach, what's up, Thanks Dustin? For having me. Of course, mate, you're welcome anytime. Gary, how did the women's practice go? Unfortunately, today we had to do a little. Uh, grunt work and go through a bunch of set pieces. We've been putting it off for a month. Until tonight, we honestly have not gone through lineouts or scrums. We've been playing without practicing any of that. So wow. we've been do we've been doing fitness and passing and pre-flow rugby. What do you guys feel like you need to work on going into this next tournament? Um, I think it's probably just up here for us, the top two inches. We've definitely got the, the talent. We've definitely got the playmaking ability. And like any good team, it's just a case of trying to find the right pieces to fit onto the field and get the right balance and then once we've got our leaders on the field taking control and directing the ship I think we'll be all right so uh, yeah looking forward to it. You guys practicing well great attitude everyone's up for it so yeah um, do you feel like WWE is in your future after rugby? <laughs> well if LeVar Ball could get on it I feel like uh, yeah if I that could be loud mouth parent that's always in his kid's life. That's legit, you know. I can yeah. do that too. I know? think we could be a great tag team duo. 
Yeah, we appreciate yeah, it. So today I got here from the DR, you know, but uh, <laughs> I, I play baseball, but today I play rugby. Who okay? <laughs> we'll drank all the Gatorade? <laughs> Damn it, that <laughs> <laughs>